Hi everyone, welcome back to Newton Grove, and today I'm going to talk about figures. Let's be honest, no model railway would be complete without the use of figures, whether they be animals or people. And when you're building a shed layout, such as what I've done here, using figures is paramount to bring the layout to life. So typically, loco sheds had lots of locos on shed, and therefore you need quite a few locomotive crews, shed staff, fitters, and the occasional enthusiast as well, especially if you're modeling the mid to late 60s when all the enthusiasts were really coming out and breaking all the rules. Now I've used several brands of figures for my model. So one of the brands I've got is Slater's Plasticard, figures from them. I've got one of these crews and they're on my 4F which you can see here. Now I've put the arms on, I've given them uh, a really good job with the paint. In fact half the detail you can't even see because their backs are to us at all times. But I found that uh, Slater's offered a limited variety so I went and searched for more. Came across uh, S and D models and their Phoenix range, and they have got lots of different options that you can get. Not just with locomotive crews, but so many other figures as well. The Phoenix range definitely offer more variety. You've got people who are standing around with bags or leaning against a wall drinking. You've got photographers as well. Uh, you can even see this chap here with his uh, box branding camera, and he actually came pre-painted, which was rather good. I could just literally just take him out, plonk him on the layout. The good thing about the S&D models is you have got more variety. Once again, you have to actually paint most of their models. They're nice and heavy, and they really do look good once they've been positioned around the layout. But I also found that for loco crews, I wanted something which had a lot more variety rather than just your typical standard poses. I remember being on Facebook, I saw these amazing figures that were in different poses I'd never seen before, and I thought, wow, they look amazing. And they were made by a company called Model U. And Model U does 3D scanning of actual people and then they print them in any scale. So I get mine obviously in O gauge, but you can get them in double O gauge, N gauge, and I think he even does larger as well. The thing that really impressed me with Model U was they actually scan real people in real railway clothing, and most of the time at railways. So the people that you actually see holding the shovel or leaning out of a cab or pulling signals in the signal box, those people actually perform those roles at Heritage Railways wearing that exact uniform. So you're literally looking at a model of a real person wearing their real preserved Heritage clothing. The variety of Model U is really fantastic and the details are great too. And being 3D printed of course, when you get up super, super close like I've done here with a macro lens, you can see the print detail, you can see all the layers, but let's be honest, when you're looking at it from a normal viewing distance, of roughly about a metre away, you will not see the detail. I've seen people on forums and on Facebook saying, oh, I want some more detail in these particular figures, and they're not the best because they're 3D printed, you know. And you know what? It's good that some people are so fastidious, but to the average modeler, or even, you know, a more advanced modeler, really, you don't need the absolute full detail in the figures, because the majority of the time, you are the only one who sees it. Now, a little tip with these 3D printed models, make sure when you get them, you prime them first. Now, the first few that I got, I didn't do that. I just started painting them and I just gave them two coats. And whilst it's worked, the unfortunate thing is there is a little bit of red still shows through where the, the paint has, uh, has overlapped, but I've, I've missed little minute details. But once again, you don't see them until you get up really close with the camera. So I do recommend spraying them with a primer first and then going over with the second top coat in the colours that you want them to be. The Model U, I would recommend them to anyone. I've been very fortunate enough to have Newton Grove featured on their homepage, which you can see here, but I do highly recommend Model U. I buy from them all the time. I bought from them just recently. I've even had a few commissions in the past when they were doing that as well. So I hope this video has been informative to you to really show the value of using figures and a good variety of figures in a great variety of poses and positions to really bring your layout to life. So thank you for watching the video everyone, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can see when new videos get uploaded and I look forward to showing you more around Newton Grove very soon.